In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit your text and change the color of your text as well as change the color of your social media icon and how to center everything up if once you add your text, things are no longer centered. The first thing you want to do after you've downloaded the templates and unzip them is go to photop.com in your web browser and then open up the file that you want to edit. The template we're going to work on today is called Super Chunk, but what I'm going to show you applies to every template. You just need to find the text in the social media icons that you want to change. So whatever template you downloaded, this works for that template. Once you've uploaded your files, you want to look over at the layers area. For this particular template, you're going to see left cam, you're going to see right cam, you're going to see graphics. Now, everything text related, your name, your social media handle, and the social media icon, that's going to be actually in the cam location. So if we wanna to adjust to one on the left cam, we wanna expand that, and then we can come down and we can tap on your name, your social media name, or your social media icons, and you can expand that folder as well. And you can do this on both the left and the right side. But first, let's change the name. So I'm gonna come up here to where it says your name in the left cam, I'm gonna select that, then I'm going to come over to the far left and I'm going to tap on the text icon. This is the T. Then I'm going to come back and click on the text that I want to edit, which is your name. I can click on that and highlight that. And then I can write my own name. And by the way, you don't have to put your name here. You can put your website or you can make a copy of this file and have one file that is your name and a duplicate of this file that could be your website or any text that you want. The next thing I want to do is go down and tap on the social media name over on the right hand side for layers. And I'm going to add my social media handle. Now, by default, this is the Facebook icon, but we're going to change that. And I'm going to show you how in just a second. But first, I want to go over to text, make sure text is selected. Then I want to highlight the text that I want to change. Then I'm going to type in my social media handle that I want to display. Now, if I click off of that, you can see that it is not centered and that's not a problem. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just a second as well. But first, we're gonna go down to social media icons. We're gonna expand that and I'm gonna change the social media icon. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna find Facebook, which is right here. I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna scroll down until I see Twitter and I'm gonna turn that on. And if you wanna change the color, you would then select Twitter Come down to EFF at the bottom. This is where you add effects. I'm going to come up to color overlay. Once color overlay opens up, I'm going to tap on the color box and it's going to open up the color picker. For this one, I don't want to choose any of the colors down here or in the color palette. Instead, I want to choose a color off the background. So I'm going to take my cursor, move it over to the background to a color that I want to use, and I'm going to tap on that and it's going to change the color. And then I'm going to go back to the bottom and press OK. And you can see that the Twitter icon now matches the background. And you can change this to any color that you want. Now to go back and change the rest of the text, I'm going to hit OK, close that down. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to close social media icons because I'm happy with that color. I'm going to click on my social media name and I'm going to change the color of that as well. I'm going to go down to EFF, color overlay, and it already changes to purple because that's the last one that I was using. But if you want to change the color here, you can tap on the color and go through and change your color. Now, to make sure that you get the right color, if you're choosing one off the background, because I already selected the color of the Twitter icon, I can go back and I can tap that color. And if this wasn't already set to purple, it would change it to purple. And I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click on OK and then OK again. Now I'm gonna keep my name white, but if you wanted to change your actual name, you would go through the exact same process. But what we wanna do now is center up the social media icon and the name. To move the social media icon as well as my social media handle, I wanna select them both and hold them at the same time. And I'm gonna do that by pressing central on the keyboard and clicking on both of them in the layers. Then what I wanna do is come all the way over to the left and tap on the arrow icon. Then I'm gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard and I'm going to move them either to the left or to the right and I'm going to center it up with my name. 
And if I think it's a little bit too high, I can move it up, I can move it down. But keep in mind, whatever you do to one side in terms of raising it up or down, you wanna do that to the other. So try to remember how many times you actually hit that up arrow or the down arrow. And once you've changed all of the text and all the social media icons that you wanna change on your file, because this could also be a single cam file or this could be a marketing screen, it doesn't have to be a two camera file. So whichever one you're working on, when it comes time to save it, you wanna go up to the top right hand corner, you want to click on file, you wanna come down to export as and export as PNG. I like to keep my quality raised to 100%. That's gonna make sure that it's saved in the maximum quality possible. Then I'm gonna hit save. And one thing that can really help you out is to create a new folder for all the files that you're saving. So you don't actually overwrite any of the source files. So create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this one two cams. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna save this file in there. That just keeps everything nice and neat so you don't accidentally write over any of your files. If you have any questions or there was something confusing in this tutorial that didn't make sense, please go down and leave a comment. I will come back and I'll answer your questions there. And if you'd like to see future tutorials about how to do specific things with these templates, also please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.